All right, my friends, welcome everyone to game number four in a best of seven show match. And each game, oh, it's it's my team now. My team now. <clears throat> in each game, <laughs> uh, I have been co-oping with the players because spectating is not working for me. So just to get out in front of this, because we have so many people coming in. No, I'm not going to resign because we're not sure if that works. And also because I like the player point of views. Yes, I have tried every single server. Yes, I've tried using a password, no password. Yes, I've pretty much done everything to do my best to get in spectating, and we're going to stick with this for now. Um, so what sieve did Hera choose? Okay, that's not the right one. I always confuse those, man. Aztecs. Okay, so Hera has gone for Aztecs, which is more of a classic gold rush pick. And Doubt decided to go with Persians, which I find interesting, because you had free pick. So I I'll show you what's different with Persians now. Uh, they've always been a solid sieve, but they have a little bit more now, and that little bit more is the Kamandaran. <laughs> um, Archer line gold cost is replaced by additional wood cost. Now, Persians do not get Arbalest, but they get Crossbow. Uh, and they do also get... Hold on, i got to go back and double check. They get Thumb Ring, right? Yeah, they get Thumb Ring. And they get full armor while lacking Bracer. So, that's a pretty tanky... And pretty strong trash unit. So if you think about it, Persians would normally go for Cavalier and Skirm. And if they go Cavalier Skirm, someone could go, I don't know, uh, let's say they're for their own knights or light cav to counter the Skirms. But if you can make trash crossbows, you could have a full army of gold units that many civs cannot deal with. Aztecs is probably not one of them. Um, Aztecs with their eagles and their their Pike combo and their monks might have the answers to Persians, but we'll see. The map is Gold Rush, and on Gold Rush, there's seven tiles of gold that's assigned to each player. Doubts are really far forward. There's a four tile here and a three tile here, so that's all of his gold, and the rest of the gold will be way out in the middle. The DE maps have not been customized or edited, uh, so in all these tournament games you might have seen on YouTube or Twitch, the maps are... Oh, God. Oh, God. I just, I just... All right, at least I sent food to Boar. Whoops. All right. Hopefully, Doubt doesn't realize it did that. But, um... Yeah, anyways, on all, like, big tournaments and basically maps that players tend to play, the map scripts have been customized and edited. But that's not the case for DE right now, so... I think the golds might be a bit more punishing. The hill in the center might be a bit more extreme. I'm just so used to clicking stuff when I cast. <laughs> I just didn't realize how much. I'll just, I'll just like, I'll just chop my middle finger off. There we go. I'll be like Velez then, and I have to use my pointer finger for both my left and right click. Which is crazy that he does that. There's a pro player from Finland, and I met him at a LAN and was watching them play. And he uses his pointer finger for his left and right click. Try and do that, guys. Try and do that real quick and feel how awkward that is. Yeah, and guess what? He's better than you, and he's better than me, and he's better than pretty much everyone watching right now, so... <laughs> it's so weird. <clears throat> and then Pike has the claw. Imagine dangling your wrist. Wait, is it Pike that has the claw? Or is it Velez? Wait, no, I think Velez has the claw. Who's the one? I think I got it backwards. I think Velez has the claw... It's Hera. No, Hera doesn't... Okay, what I'm... What are you referring to when you are th thinking Claw, Tarzis? <laughs> this is my question. <laughs> so, I'd have to take a picture of it. But from wrist to edge of the finger, it's 90 degree angle for one of the Finland players. Like, they dangle their hand six inches above the mouse. Hera does not do anything related to his, his holding the mouse, as far as I know. You might be thinking of him using WASD to move around the map like this. But anyways, I I think anyway, there's two Finnish players that have some some interesting ways of holding the mouse. Well, it's not it's not if Hera does it, Tarzis, it's not anything like you're you're probably picturing uh something a lot less extreme than what I'm trying to describe right now. Cuz I I watched the players train at the land, right? So I was like hanging out with Hera, hanging out with all the players, so I'll try and find a picture of it, 
if I can. But it's really awkward. It actually hurts my wrist to even try it. And then the other, and then half the Finns use a block mod. <laughs> so the Finnish people just have different ways of doing things. Okay, so we saw Hera's eagle arrive. You can also tell because of the score that he's been scouting more. And Doubt's about to reach Feudal Age. So a common strategy for Aztecs would be Drushfast Castle. So Doubt or, or Hera might have some militia on the way. Doubt's gone for 20 population. He's built the barracks, so probably 20 population scouts. One would assume, but he might just boom. All right, so that eagle will go down. Hera's still Dark Age. Surprised Hera hung around here when he saw the barracks. There's the stable. And if you see the barracks, you gotta expect 20 or 21, like, basically early scouts. There's the gold in the center. So, beyond these seven tiles, that's where all the gold will be. Big fan, big fan. There's the racks for Hera, and he has militia. Is he... Okay, he's going for man-at-arms. All right, this makes a little bit more sense. Jay Chambliss, thank you, man. Thank you for seven. Thanks, 40. 40, 40, actually, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Old casting is broken. We are now casting like it's 2005, and we're spectating with the players. Ooh. Not sure about that one, Doubt. He should probably look to see where Hera can get gold. I mean, Hera's gold is not as bad as Doubt's, right? He probably has one of those three or four tile golds. Oh, there's one, but I'm going to assume that the other one's probably in the back. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's 800 gold a tile, so it's more than enough. Okay, there's the wood line. There's some farmers. Gold here. Gold here. Doubt's looking. There it is. Okay. Yeah, so it's really kind of bad for both of them. It's not great, and Hera will probably just cancel Man-at-Arms. I don't see Hera being able to justify getting Man-at-Arms when Doubt's already walled up. Oh, Doubt milled the shorefish! Wow, villagers collecting shorefish is a really fast source of food income. And there's 400 extra food for him here. He decided to mill it. Well, Scout's dead. Rest in peace, but that's an interesting move. I like it. Lord Penguin, yes, I have considered that. He's also been bringing in some deer. So this will probably just be to Castle Age. Now in Castle Age, Aztecs don't have the mobility of Persians, but they do have the answers to what Persians might make. So they have the monks for the knights, they have pikes for the knights, even mass mass eagles can actually do cut quite well. So I think the macro, the booming is going to be really important here for both of them. Doubt has 17 on food. This is this is near perfect economically. 17 on food. Salam. Normally if you're going scouts into knights, you're going to end with about 16 farmers, so the blacksmith is on the way. I don't love the spot of the blacksmith, but it's whatever. I would have rather to see it on the front. Notice how Doubt doesn't queue up Vils after his wheelbarrow tech. In DE2, you can queue up stuff on top of it, but you're just not used to it as a as a guy who's been playing for so long. See, like, look. TC idle time. TC idle time. TC idle time. TC idle time. He could have created another Vil. TC idle time. TC idle time. Maybe it's intentional idle time? Okay, it looks to be intentional now, but... Maybe could have got away with creating one more vill? Now he's up. Okay. Alright. Hera's just passing. This scout will be very important for Doubting. We need to look for what Hera's gonna be doing. Now again, you could make... You could make a villager on top of the... Oh, hold on. You know what? I think we need to go to this scene. Just realized that since we're technically playing. There we go. You can make a villager on top of that Castle Age upgrade. 
No, nah, no, nah, I can't help him. I can't help him, even though we're casting from his perspective. That would be bad. Oh, he's getting bloodlines. Okay, so he's getting bloodlines, which would give his scouts and knights plus 20 HP. So for this scout, from 45 to 65 HP. Okay, so there's 83 food on both of the shorefish. That's an extra 150 food. Coming in pretty quick. I'm surprised that Dowd isn't going for a second stable. I wonder... Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, he, he was also surprised as well. Apparently he forgot. Because I think two stable production is going to be important here. Nice job from Dowd just to get rid of these units. Yeah, he doesn't want to lose any HP on the scout. Good job from Hera as well to just be annoying. Okay, first knight's on the way. So this scout here will need to not only scout what Hera will be doing, but also snipe monks because monks will be coming out. There's a real possibility that Hera will go all in monks. And there's a real possibility that Hera could have three or four barracks creating spears and eagles too. So it's, it's something Doubt needs to see. Okay, his knight will take a little bit of damage. But he will destroy those three units, and now here he is looking for what Hera might be going for. Okay, so you see another spear, you see another eagle, you also see if you click the unit that there's there's uh, armor. So I think it will be Pike Eagle, and maybe one monastery. And so, on Gold Rush, there's a lot of gold in the center. You have to keep an eye on that, and Doubt's actually running to the center to build the siege workshop. Now, I remember there being a wolf here, and I think there's another wolf around here. Thought so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he could lose his villager if he's not careful. Salam. But he'll use the scout against the wolf. And it's it's possible Harris saw the siege workshop going up. I like it. If he gets the siege out, like maybe a few scorpions, actually. Could be really good for doubt. He, he would need scorpions, and there's the monastery now for Hera. This is really cool to watch it from player perspective. The monastery will... Will it be denied? It will be slowed down. Wow, this is good for doubt. Mobility of the knights. Remember, like I said, Aztecs are strong, but they're not near as mobile. Uh, quick walls from Hera to keep that villager alive for now, but with six knights versus three pikes, doubt might even consider taking a fight soon. All right, so he's actually going for a Maganel, and now he's also going for a TC in the center to secure the gold. So Doubt has more control of the gold right now. And I imagine the monastery is finished and the villager is scrambled out of here. Um, Doubt can take this fight. Doubt can take this fight. On top of the hill. Okay, now there's more pikes. He got some good hits. Yeah, maybe now back up, Doubt. Oh, the micro. Interesting. Why are these... Why is he not fighting with all of his knights? That was weird. And now and now the monk pops out for Hera. And he gets a quick conversion. And that's what a conversion can do. Oh my god. That was sick, man. The conversion comes in. The knight immediately turns around to snipe the Maganel. That was a misplay from Doubt, I think. If you're going to fight pikemen with knights, you need to have all your knights on the hill there instead of surrounding the monastery. You either go all in against the pikes or you don't at all and you back up and protect your mango. And I mean, Doubt did end up using the scout to snipe the monk and he will have another Maganel on the way. Also, Persian TCs work faster at this stage, but don't think it was the prettiest for him. And that's what Hera will look to do. He'll look to get conversions and use knights against the Maganels. But Doubt has gold. Two TCs producing bills. Uh, almost has the resources for another Maganel. He has to be very careful with this, though. That knight was healed up. And oh my goodness. Hera's got more monks. Hera splits away. Hera goes for the Maganel kill. He'll get it. He'll get it. And Doubt knows it, too. That's why Doubt fired like that. Oh, and Doubt didn't even kill the monk. Aztecs are so brutal to play against, man. If you... 
If you play Aztecs correctly, you can beat any save. It's crazy. Okay, Doubt might be tempted to hop out and shoot the monk. Hera realizing that will sit his knight here. <laughs> I, I like how I like how Hera keeps using that knight. It's made such a difference. Well, Persian TCs have 4,800 HP, so it's really hard to push Persian TCs. I think Hera might have researched redemption at this stage. It's expensive. It's 475 gold, but um, with redemption, the monks can then convert the enemy Maganels as well. To make matters even more difficult. Oh wow, villager almost died. Dying to wolves. <laughs> Saver. <laughs> oh my god, there's wolves everywhere. There's another one now. Woo woo woo. <laughs> it's funny. Reaper of Saints, thanks for the 12 months, man. Welcome to the gold badge. Why do I, I always say Gold Badge Club? It doesn't really sound good. It sounds like it sounds like Gold Badge Club sounds like a retirement club. We'll have some tapio tapioca pudding for you later on. Ooh, the scouts! I don't know if that's going to be enough. Hera realizing though that he needs to reposition the monks. Oh, beautiful play from Hera, and. Doubt. Oh, he fails. Oh my god, everything's falling apart for Doubt. Hera is just too fast. Hera got three conversions or two conversions. Didn't lose a single Maganel. And now he's he's just dived underneath the TC because why not? Might as well use these two knights to run after this mango. He's still protecting himself on the hill with more pikes. That was sick stuff from Hera. Everything just... Everything went wrong for Doubt. Even the pikes will fight underneath the TC. Yep. Now Hera, I believe, is out of faith, so Doubt might get the monks there. He does. Uh, oh, God! Oh, God! He got one. Oh, and then the attack rounds from Hera's mangoes. Oh, my goodness. Lord have mercy, Hera. What are you doing to the poor man? Jeez. I mean, if Dow keeps the TC up, no. Dow taps out. He calls the GG, and Hera is up three to one in this best of seven. Now that was some sick stuff, man. <clears throat> like, you really saw. Well, first off, you saw. Oh, I have to resign. I have to resign. I forgot. I was like, why isn't Dow resigning? Um. You, you really saw the difference in speed there. Like, what Hera had to do there was insane. He had to use three or four different monks on multiple knights. He had to click the Maganels to the side, to micro, while keeping his pikemen on a tight patrol around his units. All of those things he probably did within three seconds. Like, blah, 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 like crazy, crazy, crazy micro. Um, and it all worked, too. Like, every single... Of the three things that could have gone wrong for Dal, everything went wrong. He lost his Maganels. He didn't snipe monks. And he, he lost knights to conversions. That was incredible. Meanwhile, behind that, Hare was only two TCs. So, they were both two TCs. Uh, I'm actually curious. I want to look at the Vill numbers. Yeah, Hera had six more Vills. Granted, he killed a few. But Eco was similar. I just... I don't think Persians really counter Aztecs here. I'm glad that Doubt chose Persians, but I think if you're going to choose a save other than Aztecs, which is really common on Gold Rush, I think Lithuanians could be really cool to see. Um, we've seen Slavs a lot in the past, so maybe even Mayans could have been a good choice for Doubt. 